You mentioned earlier that one of the reasons why this is happening is the failure of a global policy to be able to tackle this issue heads on. Now, tell us, why is this a global problem? And what is it that countries are missing in trying to understand that this is a global phenomena and not just specific to certain regions? No, this it, it, var it varies a little bit. Uh, when we talk about, let's say, one meter sea level rise, it's not exactly the, the, the same everywhere, uh, but it is generally a problem. But if we go back to the international negotiations and the Paris Agreement, uh, uh, the um, countries agreed that we have to limit the warming to two centigrades. Even if we manage to do that, we will probably not the, the ice over Greenland and um, and the ice over the Arctic will continue to melt. We will have an ice-free Arctic in the summer, um, 20 to 40 years from now. So uh, some of these um, things which we have known for uh, at least 30 years is now impossible to stop, actually. But uh, so we have to adapt to it. But of course, it is even more important than before that we uh, try to um, limit uh, the further warming as much as we can. And, um, but but uh, what happens just now is very, very worrying because, for instance, last week there came a, a report from the uh, Meteorological Institute in Sweden with new, more detailed uh, models that now said that best case is 2.4 degrees and worst case this century is more than six degrees which would be a, um, a recipe on a complete global uh, climate catastrophe so it get it gets more and more serious uh, but we so we have to work harder and harder to to get um, uh, 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 to stop the emission